powergamer.se som befinner sig i Amsterdam där vi har fått prova Grid 2 och där vi kommer att intervjua utvecklarna men först Tom Coronel rating för det. Good morning powergamer uh, here in the in the uh, karting track of who? Uh, my name is uh, Tom Coronel. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, just from a uh, hobby we made a little bit work so we're at uh, our indoor karting uh, circuit. Uh, for those who doesn't know you can tell us a bit if you can about your race career. Wow, uh, I'm racing now for 24 years, I believe now. Uh, I raced five years in Japan, a professional race driver, Formula Nippon champion, Formula 3 champion, uh, and I'm now doing the last uh, 10 years uh, World Touring Car Championship with uh, with BMW. Yeah. Racing as, for example, simulators have been developing. Yep. Uh, have you tried uh, any simulators? Uh, of course, <laughs> because they uh, they are uh, becoming quite uh, big in competition with real racing, uh, because they become really realistic. As you see how they make the games nowadays, it's uh, is near is nearly a really in a race car. So uh, uh, it's good for race car drivers to learn circuits uh, because uh, sceneries are exactly the same, and also feeling wise they're quite strong. Uh, you miss maybe one small dimension, uh, the feeling dimension, but uh, but the look and the touch and the suspension wise is really uh, <laughs> realistic maybe a little bit too much at the moment uh, when you talk about the the feeling is it the g-forces when you drive that the simulators miss uh, yeah it, well, it's, it's the g-force but also the sense and the feeling completely with the car the the the, the g-force which which they try to simulate of course in in the real big simulators the moving simulators um, uh, but you have of course uh, 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 eyesight you have hearing and which is in the game already so realistic that uh, some people from gaming they they come to real motor racing and they are already so strong. Yeah. Yeah, it's logic because they develop themselves so well uh, because of the games. Uh, when you play uh, racing games on, on consoles, you get the sense it's easy just sit there and driving. But yeah. for those who, who doesn't, doesn't know anything about racing, you tell them what, what, you know, what you're, exhausted, you're exposed to. Yes, yes, yes. But of course, they uh, if they are interested, they they see television. Uh, they they know what uh, what's all about. Uh, and when I play in my play seat, yeah. you know, it's 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 quite realistic. Uh, I also become addicted. Uh, most of the time, uh, when me and my girlfriend, which is also a race uh, race car driver. Um, yeah, on Sunday, nothing to do. You know, you start to play the game, and then uh, four hours later, you think. Wow, we already spent four hours, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's it's an addiction. That's first. Uh, second thing is it's 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 so realistic, uh, but not too bad because if you crash, you don't have to explain to your team boss what happened, yeah. and also you don't feel it financially because you can just start the game over again. Uh, what uh, racing game have you been playing? Um, uh, dirt. At the moment, I'm completely uh, uh, fanatic about this one, Dirt 2, uh, because of the Dakar thing and also. Um, what was the name? Uh, you could earn. Um, I just said it in English. Um, Not grid. No. Yeah, grid also. Mm -hmm. Grid one. Yes, of yeah. course. Yes, of course. Uh, because also the Ascari was in. Um, no. And also, uh, I was self uh, myself. I'm in grid one with the Spiker with Tom mm -hmm. Coronel. And now, uh, of course, the touring cars inside the 320 TC, which we always say it's the 320 Tom Coronel, but is is of course touring car. Um, no, what's what's the, the game uh, mentioned? Uh, you could earn the turbo. You could earn the tires. You, you had to you had to buy it. Ah, damn it. I just said it to somebody. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Uh, don't worry. Uh, when you drive uh, in the simulators, uh, on the tracks you've been driving as a real driver, yeah. uh, is there any differences in lap times? Ah, the lap times are really realistic. Uh, we have in the paddock, uh, we have the um, the play seats together with the games uh, from the WTC uh, ourselves as well, and we really try to uh, try to be as close as possible. Uh, like two weeks ago, I was racing in Marrakesh with the World Touring Car Championship, and I was we were also playing the game, and I was only one second off uh, the realistic one because of course the the weather condition uh, you don't know, the dust on the circuit you don't know. Um, so, but uh, yes, it came really really close. Yeah. Is it easy to take risks? that you otherwise won't do in real life racing? Uh, in the game you can take of course a little bit more risk yeah. because it, you don't hurt yourself 
and of course financially it doesn't hurt you uh, and of course you don't have to explain your team boss mm. uh, but if you want to finish mm. uh, you cannot take too much risk mm. um, of course when you have a big crash you see the hood standing up like this and it doesn't say that your radiator is broken so and you can still drive so uh, you have some uh, some benefit out of this but uh, when you start to race in real uh, racing mm. you start to understand this is not the system mm. uh, so uh, th th there are some small differences mm. Uh, although it's nice to see when you crash and you see also the whole car is a little bit lumpy and you see the hood standing up or the door is out and these kind of things. Uh, have you been playing uh, Grid 2? At the moment not, uh, uh, because everybody is fighting uh, for the game. Uh, but I've, uh, I've been watching it uh, at the moment. I saw some, uh, some really interesting uh, things, how realistic it becomes, really nice also with the smoke of the tires, the sound, the behavior of the cars. And also I could see that all these guys are, for me, a little bit too strong in, uh, in digital racing. So it's better not to see me racing here. If you want to be a race driver, well, would you uh, say, uh, recommend them to do? For sure, race car drivers will drive uh, Grid 2 uh, because uh, uh, how real it's been built. Uh, and uh, we always do these kind of things. So uh, for us, uh, it's, uh, it's a support. Uh, once we need to go to the circuit, we can learn the circuit already. Uh, you can also try different type of cars. Um, yeah, because all the data which is developed in motor racing, they use in the games now. So yeah, it's a big benefit for race car drivers to, uh, to use uh, the games. And especially, of course, the new ones, which is now Grid 2. Uh, favorite track? My favorite circuit. in. Yeah. In the game Grid 2 or for myself? Uh, yourself and in the game. For myself, it's uh, Macau, the street mm -hmm. circuit of Macau, uh, because uh, yeah, it's it's so exciting to uh, to have no uh, escape roads. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, in the game is um, uh, Algarve, mm -hmm. but this is just because uh, up, down, and it's it's very technical circuit, and uh, which is really nice developed uh, in the game, uh, very realistic. Uh, so no, uh, this is uh, this is what uh, what I like from the circuits personally. So uh, the, your your circuit is it like a mix of Macau and Algarve? Uh, well, it's uh, well. This one is called uh, uh, Spa Francorchamps uh, because of one of the big circuits. That's yeah. why we have the, the woods there, and uh, and of course we have a tunnel here, yeah. which is maybe a little bit like uh, like Monaco. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the first circuit we made in '95, mm -hmm. and it's still my favorite. Uh, also because of up, down and dark and uh, high speed, uh, you will see here it's, it's flat out, this chicane. But uh, for me it's flat because I know, and for you it's maybe flat, so it's very exciting. And this is what we need, uh, the heart needs to, it needs to beat. Uh, your lap times here? You really want to know? Yes. Uh, I think once I've done 31. But then I was five kilos more light. I think now if, I, if you do a, a 32 high or 33 low, you're an expert. All right. And with this, thank but, you, Tom. But yeah. for sure, you will not make it. You're you're too heavy for yeah, you. Yeah, I've realized that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was our power gamer, Tom Carrell. And if you just say something in Dutch. Yeah, nou, ik hoop dat jullie het spel allemaal kopen en veel succes met spelen, want het is echt vette toffe shit. Wie gaat alle verstoren? Tak.